Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Lee Dixon not happy with £30 million Arsenal player last night. Arsenal legend Lee Dixon slated Gunners midfielder Granit Xhaka for the stupid booking he picked up at Crystal Palace on a Friday night. Mikel Arteta's charges got their Premier League campaign off to a winning start, running out 2-0 winners at Salhurst Park. The Gunners began brightly against Patrick Vieira's side and came close to taking the lead in the opening minutes. Gabriel Jesus burst into the box and had a go at goal before the ball fell for Gabriel Martinelli. The 20-year-old blasted his effort wide but made up for it in the 20 minute of the encounter. Alexander Zinchenko headed a corner into the path of Martinelli, who duly provided the finishing touch. Palace had their chances, with Aaron Ramsdale having to keep our efforts from Otson Edward and Eberchi Ezi. Patrick Vieira's charges spent Arsenal back for much of the final 25 minutes, but the Gunners had the final say. Bukayo Saka drove into the area and crossed into the six-yard box, Mark deflecting the ball into his own net. Towards the end of the first half, Chaka eared himself a caution for simulation. Anticipating a tackle from Eagles defender Joachim Anderson, the £30 million man went to ground. Referee Stuart Atwell was having none of it as he quickly showed Chaka a yellow card. And Dixon wasn't impressed with the 29-year-old. He told NBC Sport, Let's just wait until the second half and see if another yellow comes out. That is a dive, quite rightly booked and, for a man of his experience, stupid. Chaka has earned a reputation as somewhat of a yellow card magnet in recent years, and while he did well to avoid a second booking for the rest of the game, he still had to walk a fine line. Ben White is now playing in a different position. Arteta says he loves it. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has revealed that Ben White really likes playing at right back. The Gunners boss spoke to Football London after Friday's Premier League opening day win at Crystal Palace. White is a centre back by trade, but he played at right back in the 2 0 win over Patrick Vieira's side at Salhurst Park. Arteta went with a centre back pairing of William Saliba and Gabriel Magalis, with White taking to the right side. The £93,000 a week defender put in a superb performance, keeping Walfred Zaha at bay for much of the game. On the whole, White was composed throughout, though he did pick Ayalu for holding Zaha down on 62 minutes. The £50 million man couldn't contribute offensively, as he had his hands full with Palace Star. Nonetheless, he did a great job with that, hence the clean sheet win. After the match, Arteta was asked how he thought White go on a tried back and whether he'd be playing regularly there. He's done really well, the Arsenal boss told Football London. We know individually, when you are so tight with him, how difficult it's to win the ball from him. He upset you, the way he tries to play the game is really tricky and we have to discuss. Ben has the capacity to play in different positions and that is big plus for any player and he really likes playing there. Ahead of kick-off last night, Sky Sports pundit Gary Neville commented on Saliba's return forcing White out wide. Every team has to be strong defensively, he said. Mikel Arteta can't afford to have a defense that wobbling all the time. Saliba, he's pushed Ben White, a £50 million signing, out to right back, which is an achievement in itself. But hearing that White enjoys playing there is a great news, and hopefully there will be more of the same in the coming weeks. And when Takahiro Tomiyasu returns, Arteta will have a selection headache of the good kind. Arsenal boss Arteta raves about Kieran Tierney for his cameo against Crystal Palace. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta lavished the praise on Kieran Tierney, who came on a substitute against Crystal Palace last night and really impressed. All eyes were on Arsenal's two new signings last night, Gabriel Jesus and Alexander Zinchenko. The Ukrainian had a solid game and even picked up an assist. He came, off in the, he came off in the 79th minute after an impressive display, but it was the man who replaced him that blew Arteta away. Before last night, Tierney's last game in the Premier League was in the third week of March. He suffered a terrible injury that forced him to have surgery last season. He missed the remainder of the campaign as a result, but he showed no signs of discomfort when he came on for the final 11 minutes at Salhurst Park. Arteta was asked about Zinchenko after the game last night, but the Arsenal boss ended up showering praises on Tierney instead. He told BBC that something he Zinchenko gives, adaptability and versatility, that's something we don't have. 
but we have other qualities. For example, with Kiran, when he came on, he was fantastic. He hasn't played for four months. He came in and really helped the team get close to the finish line. Tierney didn't have a lot to do when he came on last night, but whatever he did, he did well. The Scotsman has always been one of Arsenal's most reliable players when he's fit. He's up there with the best left backs in the country, and the Gunners really struggled without him in the back end of last season. Tierney's return now is a massive boost for Arsenal, even though they have Zinchenko. The battle for a starting spot between the two players will be really interesting in the coming weeks, but going by Arteta's word after watching just 11 minutes of Tierney, the Gunners boss may well decide to bring the Scotsman back into the side once he's fully fit. Mikel Arteta claims Gabriel Jesus was a nightmare to Palace defender last night. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta has claimed that Gabriel Jesus is a nightmare to opposition defenders following his performance against Crystal Palace last night. The Gunners started the game brilliantly and Jesus was arguably the star of the show. The Brazilian completed more take-ons 5 and had more touches of the ball inside the opposition box 9 times than any other player in the first half. Arsenal fans were delighted with the Jesus display last night, even though he failed to get on the score sheet. Arteta was asked about his Marquis Summer signing not scoring yesterday, and the Gunners boss claimed that he was still very pleased with the way Jesus constantly tormented the defenders. Arteta was a happy man after the 2 0 win last night. His three debutants, Jesus, Alexander Zinchenko, and William Saliba, were all fantastic, and also, it's the latter who has become the talk of the town. The Brazilian deserves immense praise as well for his brilliant first half performance. Arteta told BBC about Jesus. The game that he played right from the start, he's just a nightmare for the defenders. He was electric, he never stops, he always on your shoulder, he's ready to go with and without the ball. I'm really pleased with his performance. Arsenal brought Jesus in to score goals and also he didn't quite do last night. His performance was exceptional. The Brazilian worked tirelessly throughout the game. Palace defenders didn't get a moment's break, not even in the second half just before he was replaced by Edin Katea. Apart from his own quality, Jesus seems to have given everyone around him a huge boost as well. The likes of Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli looked really hungry yesterday, and the trio could form a really dangerous partnership in the coming weeks. Arsenal take on Leicester City in the Premier League next, and Jesus would love nothing more than to get on the score sheet then. Arsenal defender Saliba, proud of winning debut at Crystal Palace. Arsenal defender William Saliba was pleased with a winning debut at Crystal Palace last night. Gabriel Martinelli's header and Mark Guehi on goal at opposite ends of the game secured a hard 4-2-0 victory. Speaking post-match, he said, It was very good because we start with a win and a clean sheet. It was tough game, but we won at the end, so very good. I waited a long time, but we did it in my first ever game, and I'm so happy. It's very good when you start to have your first chance in this amazing club, so I'm so happy and hungry for more. Saliba and his fellow defenders were pegged back for a lot of the second 45 as Patrick Vieira's side pushed hard for an equalizer after failing behind to Gabriel Martinelli's opener, but their organization helped set to the platform for the visitors to grab a second when Bukayo Saka forced Mark Wehi into a known goal. We knew it would be a very hard game, but we were prepared and we were focused, he added. It's good for the confidence, it's very good and I hope we will keep going like this. We played as an 11 and the players who came home, they gave their maximum. It's a good team, when we play like this, it's very good. We have to enjoy tonight, but beginning tomorrow, we have to be focused on the next game, because it's not finished, it's just the first game. Arteta happy after Palace win, but unhappy that we didn't score more goals. After all the wailing and the gnashing of teeth, Mikel Arteta finally got his team perfectly prepared for Arsenal's first big test of the season away at Crystal Palace, and boy, did they deliver the goods. It could have been the perfect start if Gabriel Martinelli had scored after just 4 minutes, but he scuffed his shot wide, but he made up for that 15 minutes later when he was in the right place to connect with Zinchenko's perfect header into the box. The boys had to fight hard to keep the Palace bullies at bay, and truthfully, Odegaard and Jesus both had clear-cut shooting chances, but overthought it, and they were wasted. 
Our fears were only reduced when Saka got a lucky deflection to seal the points near the end. Mikel Arteta was of course happy with the points, but is well aware we could have had another couple of goals to reduce the tension. It's a really good win, Arteta told Arsenal.com. It's a very difficult thing to do because they created an atmosphere here and they are a really good side. They created so many issues and we experienced it the last season and to come here and win in the way that we did it, credit to the boys, I'm really happy. But the disappointing thing was that we didn't score more goals because we had so many opportunities and we looked a real threat. But we cannot expect to do that here for 95 minutes. It's not going to happen. Then we have moments where we have to show and dig in and be accountable in our job, especially when we are defending deep and we did that fantastically well. So I'm really happy to get the clean sheet and the win. Arsenal preparing opening bid offer for Belgian international. Arsenal are preparing an opening offer for Leicester City midfielder and Belgian international Yuri Tielemans. Mikel Arteta hasn't messed around in the early stages of the transfer window, targeting plenty of young, up-and-coming talent. Arsenal have strengthened it in attack and defence, but are yet to bring a natural central midfielder to partner Thomas Partey. Now, according to The Sun via The Mirror, Arsenal are preparing an opening offer for Tielemans with a proposal expected imminently. Tielemans is out of contract next summer, so Leicester could be forced to sell him during this current transfer window or risk losing him on a free transfer. Arsenal may be able to sign him at a cutback price if Tielemans continues to refuse to sign a new deal. Leicester missed out on the European places last season, with Arsenal able to offer Tielemans European football. Tielemans could be the missing piece of Arsenal's puzzle going into the new season. Granit Xhaka has struggled with finding consistent form in recent years, so finding a midfielder who has performed at a special level for some time now could provide them solidity. Arsenal working on a deal to sign £60 million attacker Arsenal are working on a deal to sign £60 million Bayer Leverkusen winger Moussa Diaby, despite strengthening heavily this summer. Arsenal currently have lack of cover out wide. Nicolas Pepe was on the bench for Arsenal on a Friday night, but he's struggled to find consistent form since moving to England. One man who they are now reportedly targeting is Leverkusen winger Diaby, according to Football Insider. Leverkusen reportedly valued Diaby at around £60 million, and Stan Kurowang has now given the green light for Arsenal to sign the French international before the end of the window. Diaby often plays off the left for Leverkusen, so it could provide competition for Gabriel Martinelli. Bukayo Saka enjoyed his best season of his short career recently, and an attack consisting of Gabriel Jesus, Saka and Martinelli would be lethal. However, £60 million could put Arsenal off considering the money they have spent over the last few years. Diaby would be a welcome addition to the squad, but a midfielder is likely to be a priority at the moment, with Emile Smith-Rowe an option to cover for Martinelli as it stands. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.